How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we'll be talking about um, two pioneers in the uh, note-taking and productivity tools um, scene being uh, Google Keep and Notion. So we'll be going over some of their key features and what set them apart and ultimately deciding which of the two is the better option to choose for note-taking. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So obviously right off the bat um, both platforms offer unique features, but which one is the ultimate choice for your productivity needs? Well, that's where we're about to, uh, that's what we're going to find out in this video. So let's start by exploring Google Keep. It's a very simple yet powerful note-taking app by Google. One of the significant advantages that Google Keep has is its seamless integration with um, other Google services. So these pertain to um, Google Drive and Google Docs. So uh, this ensures that you have easy collaboration and sharing of notes with colleagues and friends. So it's really made for uh, productivity and work. So with that introduction to Google Keep out of the way, let's talk about the pros of Google Keep. So number one is simplicity. So as you guys can see from my screen here, um, Google Keep comes with a minimalist design, which makes it incredibly user-friendly. It's perfect for those who prefer a straightforward interface for quick note taking. Now, as mentioned, the uh, uh, tight integration with other Google services is one is one of the other pros that Google Keep has. So, uh, it can, obviously, uh, its integration with the others enhances uh, collaboration and accessibility across various devices. So, this actually streamlines the whole process and makes things easier when you're. Um, uh, sharing notes with colleagues and whatnot. Another cool feature that um, Google Keep has is the voice notes. So this feature uh, has the ability to create voice notes on the go and is a standout feature on Google Keep, especially for users who uh, prefer capturing thoughts verbally instead of uh, reading through text. Now, those are just some of the pros that Google Keep has. Now let's go over the cons. So started uh, starting with limited formatting. So Google Keep simplicity comes at a cost. This is the lack of advanced formatting options that might be a drawback for users who need more customization in their notes. And uh, another con is the organization challenges. So while Google Keep allows for labeling and color coding, organizing a l large number of notes, um, um, because of its um, simple form factor, this may become a challenge over time. Now, let's turn our attention to Notion. So Notion is a versatile all-in-one workspace that combines note-taking, project management, and collaboration tools. So um, starting with the pros of Notion, let's start with its um, flexibility. So Notion is known for its flexibility. Its biggest strength lies in its flexibility. It adapts to a uh, workflow, allowing you to create a personalized workspace that suits your specific needs. Uh, another thing is that Notion comes with advanced features. So Notion offers a plethora of features such as databases, tables, and Kanban boards, making it a more complex and comprehensive tool for project management and organization, something that Google Keep doesn't have. And um, customization, um, users can customize their workspa uh, workspace extensively from changing layout to adding emojis, pictures, creating a visually appealing and personalized environment. So right off the bat, I can, you can already tell, I mean, it's no secret that Notion comes with more features than Google Keep, but it really depends on what you want to use it for and the different types of applications that you have in mind. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about the uh, cons of Notion. So because Notion is more complex, it has a uh, larger learning curve. So Notion's extensive features may intimidate new users. The learning curve can be steep, and some may find it overwhelming initially. There's also the pricing. Um, while both Google Keep and Notion offer free plans, um, Notion's premium plans um, cost, will, will cost even more than Google's. So this might be a drawback for some users on a tight budget, but you will get your bang for buck with uh, their premium packages as Notion comes with all of these features that you guys can see on my screen here. So um, now that we've explored the 
pros and cons of both Google Keep and Notion, let's do some comparisons. So starting with uh, user base. So Google, uh, Google Keep caters to users who value simplicity and quick note taking, uh, as we know. While Notion appeals to those who need a comprehensive workspace with advanced features, as I've um, explained in this video. Um, collaboration um, in mind, Google Keep is excellent for basic collaboration, while Notion's um, collaboration features are more robust and suitable for big team projects. So these pertain to um, big, uh, big projects, could be construction, HR, um, project management, digital uh, marketing, uh, what else? Um, running a database. So in this aspect, um, Notion 100% wins. So Notion's collaboration features are more robust and suitable for team projects, like I said. And when it comes to the budget, um, obviously, because Google Keep is more budget friendly for users who don't need advanced features, it would be the go-to option for um, people without a budget or just looking to uh, take notes. While Notion, on the other hand, with its premium plans, uh, targets users with more extensive organizational needs. So at the end of the day, the choice between Google Keep and Notion depends on uh, your individual preferences and the complexity of your tasks. So if simplicity and integration with other Google services are your priorities, then obviously go for Google Keep. Now, on the other hand, if you crave for flexibility and advanced features and a personalized workspace, then Notion could be your go-to productivity powerhouse. But if I were to choose between the two, I would, I would give the edge to Notion. I would 100% go for Notion as it has more integrations. As you can see here, it integrates with Discord, Facebook, Twitter or X, if you want to call it that, um, Slack, Reddit, and other um, platforms and productivity tools. I mean, it's even used by companies like Pixar, DoorDash, Nike, Amazon. So if that's not a testament to how good Notion is, then I don't know what is. So um, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. And if you did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.